You haven't seen nothing yet. You've seen a lot in your day. You've seen a lot of ministry before you. you you've even been in ministry for years. You're, you're not a rookie. You're not a novice. You've been in ministry. You, you know what it's like. You know what it's like when nobody shows up in the door. You know what it's like when nobody says amen to what God has placed inside of you. You know what it's like to have to do everything in the sanctuary. You know what it's like to have to preach and nobody be there. You know what it's like to, to have to pray and nobody even be there to help you lift your hands. You know exactly what it is, the hardships and the weight of carrying ministry upon your shoulders. When nobody else wanted to carry ministry, you were there carrying the hard burden. You were laboring in the things of ministry because you had a heart for God's people. And even though God's people hurt you, ripped you up, tore you up, ate you up, spit you out, stomped all over you, you were still faithful. And because, my dear, you were so faithful in that, God says you haven't seen nothing yet. I'm about to release upon you an anointing, an anointing, an anointing, an anointing, an anointing, an anointing that is greater than the portion, that is greater than the strength of what you saw in the past, an anointing, an anointing that is going to cause you, honey, to stand up straighter, stronger, run swifter, run faster, to declare, to decree, to establish, to proclaim, to cause things to be legislated, to move about, to move about powers and principalities, to shift, to change, to cause, create, come on, God is doing it, you haven't seen nothing yet, I'm anointing, anointing, anointing you. Because you're not satisfied with what you saw. 